Hi, this is Roger from Kanka Labs and look what I've brought to you today. Uh, I once bought a, a little gadget, a t-shirt with a spectrum analyzer. I wanted to have this uh, for a demonstration of electroluminescent uh, display technology, uh, which was used in the display keyboard, the disk key of the famous Apollo guidance computer. And uh, I thought this would be a quite nice demonstration and also quite a, a geeky or nerdy uh, t-shirt for other purposes like social meetings in hackerspaces. Uh, I was surprised how cheap it was. It was around 20 or 30 euros. And uh, when I got it, uh, I was a little bit suspicious if it really works. You can see it has a little a uh, controller with uh, two uh, AAA batteries and a microphone and apparently an amplifier and the driving uh, circuitry for the EL display. But when you look closely or carefully, you will notice that this cannot be a true spectrum analyzer. I was hoping in the end uh, to uh, hack this uh, thing a little bit. Uh, to use it for other purposes, because if it would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it, if it would be a 10 band um, spectrum analyzer, uh, including the audio amplifier and the microphone, uh, it could also drive a um, spectrum analyzer made out of Nixie tubes or VFD tubes. And, um, well, well, look, watch closely and you will see that this cannot be a true spectrum analyzer. It's obviously a fake, though if you don't know it, you won't recognize it. And if we take off it from the back, it it's, um, uh, fastens with uh, Velcro strips, then you already can see uh, get it a little bit closer, then you already can see that most of the, let's wait a little bit for focus, um, then you already can see that uh, all of the lines are connected to um, separate groups and so this does not do any spectrum analysis. Um, but it obviously only measures the loudness uh, of the signal and depending on the loudness um, uh, displays only a fixed uh, combination of segments. So that was a little bit of a uh, disappointment. But anyway, uh, for the 20 or 30 euros it was quite okay and for a demonstration of electroluminescent uh, display technology. It also was quite okay. Uh, what you do, cannot see very good here is um, you might see on, on the camera screen, I only see uh, that the color is white. Uh, in fact, uh, in, in the real world, uh, the colors come out quite good depending on the on the uh, transparent colored uh, display overlay here. Um, so um, anyway, uh, beware uh, of buying this if you expect a true spectrum analyzer. Um, but uh, for a, a geeky events, uh, it's uh, quite okay for the price. So that was it for today. Just a little demonstration of a fake EL electroluminescent uh, display spectrum analyzer. Bye from Kanka Labs.